What's up guys, it's Jake from CrossFit Rep down in Austin, Texas. I just tried F45 and wanted to give you my thoughts on the program as well as comparing it to uh, CrossFit and to Orange Theory. So important to note before we start, a couple disclaimers, I do own and operate a CrossFit gym, so clearly my view is gonna be a little bit biased. Um, I think that CrossFit is the best strength and conditioning program that people can do provided that it's done well and every CrossFit is independently owned and operated which makes doing a comparison like this a little bit difficult. So understand that when I am comparing to CrossFit, I am comparing to what I feel like is the standard that should be upheld by most CrossFit gyms, um, but unfortunately that's not the case across the board. So below I will link a blog post that I did giving you guys um, some information about finding a good CrossFit gym in your area if you get to the end of this video and you decide that you do want to uh, give CrossFit a shot. So um, yeah, let's jump right into it. Oh, last disclaimer. Uh, I do think that, as I said, CrossFit is the best option for people, but realistically, it's not for everyone. Um, and I will give, uh, over the course of this video, um, the people that I think would be better suited for F45 or uh, Orange Theory. So I'm not trying to convince everyone to do CrossFit with this video, uh, just give you guys some information to help you make a decision, all right? so. Um, Went to F45 on Friday of this past week. Uh, beautiful facility, all the amenities, 20 different types of shower gels, things like that. Um, so if that is important to you, uh, that would be a strong reason to consider a corporate fitness uh, facility like F45 or Orange Theory. I gave F45 a slight edge here on the facility because they came out with scented, chilled, and chilled towels at the end of the workout. Um, so that was just like, that kind of blew me away. Um, I wish I could afford to do that here uh, you know to my point of every CrossFit gym being independently owned and operated we're all mom-and-pop shops so it's a little bit tough for us to do things like offer chilled and scented towels and linen services and things like that um, so you know something for you guys to consider as uh, you're making this decision so uh, coach gives me a tour of the facility Asked me if I have any injuries or issues that need uh, that he needs to know about before the workout starts, which was great. Orange Theory did not do that. Um, again, I only took one Orange Theory class, so I don't know if that's the norm, but that was definitely something that I noticed. A lot of CrossFit gyms won't do that either, um, and I think that that's a big mistake. I think everybody should be evaluating their clients before they do exercise. If you if you think that coaching is important, if you think that what we do has value, uh, then you want to treat it like that and actually assess and evaluate your clients before they start a class. If you're asking somebody to put a barbell with weight over their head um, in a workout, you probably want to see them put their arms over their head. You know, do they have shoulder mobility problems, hips, ankles, back, you name it. Um, so I uh, told the coach that I have a back problem some back issues uh, since I was a kid that I, that I try to work around um, and uh, that was it. So he told me to start uh, doing some foam rolling before the class started, didn't really give me any instruction about what to foam roll, you know, what muscle groups might be important to hit before the workout we were about to do um, and uh, everybody starts filing in. Uh, there were two coaches, which was nice, um, given the amount of uh, stuff that happens in an F45 class. It's broken into stations, and you can have, uh, the one of the classes I did had 10 separate stations with two people at each station. So um, as a coach, if you're watching this, just imagine trying to watch 10 people do 10 different things at the same time and correct them. So it's, it's pretty challenging, but at least they did have two coaches. Um, both coaches got in there. Uh, they, one coach verbally talked us through the movements that we were gonna be doing while another coach physically demonstrated those movements. Um, they gave a little bit more detail than I saw at, uh, given at Orange Theory when I did that. <clears throat> For example, you know, uh, the coach said to make sure to engage your hamstrings as you're deadlifting, to take pressure off your lower back, um, and uh, that was it. Then they told us, you know, so they uh, walked us through each movement, kind of quick, maybe 10, 15 seconds uh, to describe each movement, 
and then told everyone what station they were going to start at. Um, quick little warm up, about three or four minutes. Uh, you know, high knees, jumping jack, stuff like that, and then the workout starts. So one thing that I was not a fan of was not being able to try any of the weights before uh, starting the circuit. You know, I like to know, cool, I'm going to use this barbell, I'm going to use this weight slam ball um, before the circuit starts. So that would have been nice, um, but uh, you know, it's 45 minutes, so there's, there just wasn't really time for that. Um, so we go through the circuit. I'm doing everything, uh, at least the deadlifts, I did every one incorrectly and rounded my back and I got no feedback on that. Um, so I want to give the coaches the benefit of the doubt and uh, say that just because there's so much going on, um, you know, so many different people doing different things at different stations and the class is so fast paced, uh, fast paced that they didn't have the opportunity um, to coach people, uh, but you know, it is what it is and I got uh, zero correction on form while I was doing it. Not the first day, but the second, or, or sorry, not just one day, but both times I did the class. Um, so if uh, attention to detail from your coaches is important, uh, you might want to think about that. So um, get through the workout and that was it. You know, some high fives from the coaches. Uh, on the way out, uh, I asked a couple questions, but I didn't really see a lot of people congregating after class, stretching together, um, talking, you know, and the coaches certainly didn't introduce me to any of the other people in the class. So if things like that are important to you, um, again, I would say, you know, you probably want to think about doing a CrossFit class because that's the environment that we try to foster here is the, you know, a real strong community environment. So on the way out, I asked a couple questions. Um, if somebody from F45 is watching and you can clarify this, uh, that would be appreciated. But the coach that I spoke to said that F45 does not require any certification from the coaches. That being said, the facility that I went to, he did say that every coach was certified. So if somebody from F45 is watching and you can clarify uh, whether that is or is not the case, that'd be great. I couldn't find any information about it on uh, your website. So um, this is also a problem with CrossFit. Uh, they only require a level one certification, uh, which is a weekend certification that you study for and you have to pass with a 70% pass rate. And uh, in my opinion, it's really a joke. It does not prepare somebody adequately to become a coach. It does not prepare somebody certainly to run a facility. Um, in fairness, I think when Greg Glassman invented uh, his business model, he envisioned coaches continuing their education and learning more and more and more and more. Um, but a lot of people just do the bare minimum um, and uh, you know, I'm not a fan of it. It's one of my biggest problems with uh, the CrossFit community and business model is uh, I wish people were learning more and not just from CrossFit but from outside of CrossFit as well. Um, Outlier here is Orange Theory, which uh, not only do they require an accredited cert from all their coaches, but they do a full week of training, nine to five uh, for five days um, to train up their coaches. That being said, the coaching that I got at Orange Theory was basically laughable. It was nothing, you know. Um, you're, and this is my experience in both F45 and Orange Theory is that because so much is happening, uh, the coach is essentially directing traffic and giving people high fives. So, um, you know, that was my experience. Uh, if you had a different experience, comment below. I'm sure you will. So, Let's talk about uh, cost. I had no idea how expensive F45 was. Um, in our market, uh, our gym is kind of middle of the road. Um, we're not the cheapest gym. We're certainly not the most expensive. And we are right on, uh, uh, on par with the Orange Theories um, that are in this area. We're pretty much the same price point. I just assumed F45 was there too. They are way more expensive. Um, 60 to $65 a week. I saw there's an F45 in New York that's like over $300 a month for um, their unlimited uh, plan. So if you are looking at F45, just know that it's going to be 25 to 33% more expensive um, than CrossFit probably is and Orange Theory um, in your area. So we talked about the facility a little bit. I give F45 the edge um, in terms of the facility just for those towels. 
holy shit, um, I'm really gonna have to figure out a way to get the chilled scented towels in here because that's just like a game changer. Um, most CrossFit gyms again are mom and pop uh, operated, so um, they're probably not going to be cleaned with the frequency that an F45 or Orange Theory is cleaned. Um, but most of us, you know, we still do a pretty good job of cleaning our facilities. Uh, it's just not like OCD, um, like those corporate fitness facilities are. So if that's important to you, uh, you probably want to consider that. Um, we talked about the coaches certification. Let's talk about community for a little bit. So, um, again, because CrossFit gyms are mom and pop gyms, it really changes the vibe. It changes the feel. Um, in addition to how the workouts are structured, there's usually, you know, if you're bench pressing, there's kind of time between sets of bench press to talk to people, to ask someone how their day went, um, in addition to coaching them, obviously, um, and uh, really just fostering that sense of community. A lot of stuff organically happens at CrossFit gyms. People, you know, throwing barbecues and inviting everyone over, pool parties, you know, let's meet up for beer, see a movie, a lot of stuff that's not necessarily fitness related um, that just grows out of a CrossFit gym because we are mom and pop operated. I live a mile behind the gym. I donate to charities in the area. It's just a different kind of vibe. So if that sounds like it's more your speed, again, you probably want to consider that versus an F45 or an Orange Theory. Um, in terms of nutrition, F45 does offer a nutrition app, uh, which is based on macros. Um, so counting uh, grams of protein, fat, and carbohydrate. Uh, at least they're doing that. Orange Theory gives no nutritional advice. Um, at least when I went and asked the coaches there, uh, they had nothing to, to say about that. Um, I do think that the macro approach that F45 takes is not ideal, um, especially for it's just not the ideal approach for everyone. Um, if somebody's not drinking enough water, if they can't be compliant and get enough water in the day, um, you know, giving somebody a target amount of grams of protein to eat is kind of like ridiculous in my opinion. It's a losing proposition. You want to start with you know those building blocks first and then build on top of that. But again, at least they do offer some guidance with nutrition uh, and Orange Theory did not in my experience. So in terms of the actual program itself, um, I gave CrossFit the vast edge here just because it has the ability and the freedom built into the program to be done exceptionally, exceptionally well, um, but also very badly too. Um, so if you are thinking about CrossFit, you know, really talk to uh, the um, gym that you're interviewing with and ask them about their program and I'll give you guys some things that you can look for um, you know to understand what a good program looks like and what one doesn't look like. Uh, F45 if I had to pick between that and Orange Theory I'd pick F45 I just enjoyed it a little bit more they had sledgehammers and slam balls and sleds you know just a few more toys um, a lot more toys than Orange Theory uh, if you're somebody who gets bored easily Orange Theory is probably gonna bore the crap out of you um, their you know weight room their weight training is just dumbbells and TRX bands and there's a good amount you can do with those but it's you know you're gonna run into a wall at uh, at some point so um, in terms of uh, the variety of equipment, I did give the edge to F45 because they only need to have two sledgehammers, right? If I want to do a workout with sledgehammers at our gym, I have to have 12 sledgehammers, you know? So um, it becomes a little bit tough, and that is one of the uh, upsides to doing those uh, workouts that are formatted in stations. In terms of the f variety of the format of the workout, um, F45 is... Uh, it's always going to be stations um, and it's always going to be intervals 20 seconds of work 40 seconds of rest 40 seconds of work 20 seconds of rest you know whatever the format is it's always going to be that station interval format orange theory you're going to be moving the whole time um, alternating between treadmill bike and weight room and your heart rate will go up and it will go down but you're not starting and stopping so actually 
from an exercise physiology standpoint, um, I think that Orange Theory is a little bit better because high intensity intervals, uh, it's not ideal to be doing those every time that you train. Um, and that's one of the things that I would tell you to look for in a good CrossFit program is do they actually talk about pacing certain workouts being a 60% effort, 70%, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, that should be a good amount of information for you guys uh, to help make a decision. You need to ask yourself a couple questions. Do you really want to get strong? If you do, uh, then a CrossFit gym is going to be the only one of those that's going to actually offer that. Um, it doesn't have to though. So at my gym, for example, if you never want to deadlift more than 50 pounds, you don't have to. So the better gyms are also, uh, better CrossFit gyms are, are good about not forcing people to do um, weight that they're not comfortable with. Um, if the gym is a scary environment for you, you know, barbells dropping, loud music, like crazy, uh, then I would say try Orange Theory. That's probably a good option. And then after that, F45 would be my next pick. And then once you really get comfortable in the gym, uh, maybe then try CrossFit. So if you're just nervous about the whole gym experience, um, I would say Orange Theory is probably a safe bet uh, to start with. Um, so if, uh, you know, we, we went over all of the rest of this stuff, amenities, facility, is the coaching really important to you? Um, is the community important to you? For some people, the community is not important. They actually don't want to talk to people. So if that sounds like you, don't go to a CrossFit gym. Um, you definitely want to try F45 or Orange Theory. You can kind of put your blinders on, zone out, do your work, get out of there. And, uh, you know, that, that'll be a good fit for a person like that. So. Um, if coaching is really important, you know, I've said it a few times here, but you're not going to get the level of detail uh, that you're going to get from a good CrossFit coach at Orange Theory or F45. So if you're really intent on doing things with proper form, um, you know, CrossFit gets a bad rap for this, but believe it or not, it's actually going to be a better solution than F45 or Orange Theory. So again, not trying to convince everyone to do CrossFit, just give you guys some info to make an informed decision. Uh, so hopefully you got something out of this video. Please comment below what you agreed with, disagree with. Uh, let's talk about it and uh, we'll see you in health. Thanks for watching.